Rob uh, Alvey, am I pronouncing your name properly? That is correct. All right, Rob, thanks for joining us. Uh, you're here to talk about Call of Duty. Yes, Call of Duty United Offensive. How, how uh, excited are you to be at the show? Uh, Do you look forward to this every year? Yeah, I mean, so far even walking in today, it's been absolutely insane. It's been maybe an hour, and I can't, still cannot get over the amount of people that come every year. Just, yeah. Every year is just uh, The funny thing insane. is, this isn't open to the public. No. And yet you look around and you go, well, if this isn't the public, you know, because everybody who's in the gaming industry also plays games. Yep. I mean, it's, it's one of those rare things that, you know, you can be in an industry and enjoy the, the, the fruits of the labor. It's like being in coffee and being a coffee freak. You know? Yep. Yeah. So uh, tell us about Call of Duty. What's going on there? Uh, well, let's see. We are showcasing uh, United Offensive, uh, Call of Duty United Offensive, which is the ex- expansion pack to Call of Duty. We're building on already, you know, a, a fantastic game, uh, adding, you know, and I'll just kind of top line it a little bit for you guys first, you know, adding, uh, you know, new modes to multiplayer, including being able to drive vehicles and have anti-tank weapons. Uh, we're adding, you know, a bunch of new single player maps, uh, lots of new features, such as being able to cook off grenades, uh, use the flamethrower, actually have uh, deployable machine guns, uh, sprint across battlefields. Uh, use smoke grenades in multiplayer. Uh, we've completely revamped the particle system. So when you're up in that B-17 bomber blasting planes out of the sky, you're going to see some uh, brand new effects that you haven't seen before. Cool. Uh, when you when you look at the way the game has changed over the years, uh, how do you feel? I mean, do you feel like uh, you, you're satisfied or you're never satisfied? Are you one of these people that never quite get where you need to be. Well, it's one of those things where in development um, it needs to be challenging to be fun. And mm-hmm. certainly, you know, when Activision uh, approached us um, uh, about doing, you know, uh, do- doing the expansion pack, I mean, you know, we sat down with Infinity Ward and it was like, wow, I mean, they've already raised the bar so high. How do we take it to the next level? And quite honestly, I mean, yeah, it was challenging, but that's also what made it fun is, you know, sitting down and, you know, multiple design meetings with, you know, milk cookies and other bizarre, you know, junk foods of that nature and trying to come up with different ways that we could, uh, uh, you know, expand upon the gameplay. Do you spend most of your time managing or most of your time creating? Um, it's it's a little bit of, of kind of everything. I mean, I think, you know, most studios, uh, everybody puts on different hats. I mean, uh, I spend a lot of time managing the team, but I spend a lot of time playing the game. You know, that's... Uh, it's kind of what it's all about. You yeah. know, I mean, we, we've got we've got a solid team of uh, designers, programmers, and artists, and you know, I think we're all kind of kids at heart in a way. I mean, you know, here we are making video games, and you know, uh, uh, we all need to be managed a bit. So I say there's a little bit of both. Uh, we're going to take some questions uh, from the arcade in just a moment. If you're uh, listening online and you're uh, you're spoofing the IP address to get the uh, stream, <laughs> go to Games by Arcade, download the arcade. It's a much better experience. That's right. This portion of the show brought to you by the amazing Safety Laser, the Rescue Laser Flare, visible up to 20 miles away at night, 3 miles during the day. It's even visible underwater. Hike, dive, sail, and drive with a safety device that can be used in every weather condition. The URL there is safetylaser.com. If you want the URL to find out more about uh, Call of Duty and the latest uh, the latest incarnation, infinityward.com or activision.com, yes? That's correct. Yeah, or... Yeah, actually, uh, you can go to, uh, is it... Call of Duty. Yeah. com. Yeah, that that would work great. And what about on uh, File Planet? What have we got for them on File Planet? Uh, I believe there are tons of files having to do with Call of Duty movies, uh, gameplay movies, patches. Uh, there's actually some great mods out for the game right now that people can go check out. There's a whole section devoted to Call of Duty uh, over on FilePlanet. dot com. So All right, we'll get to those questions in the arcade in just a second. What do you hope to accomplish this year at the show? Uh, just, just be here. Yeah, just uh, be able to show off. You know, a kick-ass game. I mean, that's you know what it's all about. Very nice. Let's go to the arcade and see what we've got question-wise. So, Irish Crazy Man wants to know if uh, there's any sort of uh, modifications that are being made to the multiplayer gameplay uh, with United Offensive uh, over the original Call of Duty uh, that you can talk about yet. All right, Irish uh, Crazy Man. (laughs) Uh, What changes are we making? I mean, I think, first of all... His last name, by the way, is Weinstein. Weinstein? So when you get, you know, the Irish part of the Weinstein. So go ahead. Sorry. 
So, uh, I mean, yeah, what we're trying to add is, uh, you know, we've always said that we're trying to make our, our multiplayer game a little bit more dynamic, meaning uh, we want to be able to allow the players to hop inside the vehicles. We've got, you know, different types of tanks. We've got jeeps that you can hop into. Um, and then at the same time, our maps are big enough to where the tanks can drive around, but not so big that they're exclusive to tanks. We've also got, uh, uh, you're able to uh, have your infantry use bazookas, satchel charges, uh, flat cannons to be able to, uh, to take out the tanks. So there's a good balance. I mean, that's really what we wanted to create. You know, it wasn't just about tanks and vehicles. It was about tanks and vehicles and infantry. And you feel like there is a balance between both sides. Do you spend your time uh, adjusting the game? I mean, do you spend time saying, okay, this is just a little too powerful to make this game interesting? Oh, we all do. I mean, there's, yeah. there's things that we go in and we're like, oh, crap, this isn't going to work. And then we change it a little bit here and that doesn't work. And then we have to go back and yeah. forth. I mean, that's, uh, and like I said, that, that's part of the fun. I mean, that's what it's all about, you know, making a game that feels really good, you know, whether you're in a tank or whether you're, you know, lone guy with a, uh, with a satchel charge. You want to cook it off just right so you can throw it over, you know, when that tank rolls over and you time it just right. So you take out that tank. All right. Back to the chat at Arcade. Uh, so Blaze2004 wants to know if their weapon realism is going to be changing at all in the expansion. Weapon realism. So hmm. a lot of people are concerned about, you know, how the, how the weapons play in the game versus how they might feel right. uh, in reality. Um, it's a good question, Blaze. Uh, I mean, definitely what we do with all of our weapons is, uh, I mean, we go out and, and we... Uh, not only do we go out to uh, to the field and we actually shoot actual weapons, but we actually bring them internally and we, you know, grab stills, you know, and, and, and we uh, photograph them. But as far as the and real... And shoot each other, really, with live rounds, Well, correct? we use the airsoft stuff, maybe. Oh, okay, all right, fine. <laughs> Got to practice a little bit. I understand. Um, but as far as the realism, I mean, I think we, uh, we make sure that we... Uh, take care of whatever historical you know significance is there and make sure that the weapons are as realistic as possible all right so again if people want information infinity ward call of duty.com infinity ward.com activision.com yep uh where would you send people first for the most call of duty i would probably send them to call of duty.com um that'll give you you know the most uh kind of up-to-date information also activision.com is also a good site to go through if you're going to download patches or anything right. like that Rob Alvey with us from uh, Infinity War or from uh, Activision. Thanks for being with us. I appreciate it. Hey, no problem. Good yeah. to be here.